How did the Vietnam War start? And who created the Viet Cong? In this video we explore the origins of the VC and how it was organised for the fight to overthrow the anti-communist Saigon government. This channel's mission is to challenge the Vietnam orthodoxy. Much of what you know about the Vietnam War is either incomplete or false. To support this channel and its mission, please subscribe and like the video. How did the war start? The Vietnamese Revolution is led by the party. This was the conclusion of the July 1959 second session of the 15th plenum of the Central Committee in Hanoi. The party had two strategic missions. The first, the Socialist Revolution in North Vietnam. The second, the People's National Democratic Revolution in the South. In May, the military commission of the Central Committee had submitted a resolution creating Group 559. The mission of Group 559 was to create the first foot trail connecting North and South, and to organise the infiltration of men, weapons and supplies into South Vietnam. The first to infiltrate was Southern-born insurgents, Viet Minh veterans drawn from the 100,000 ethnic Southerners that had moved North following the North-South Division. These regroupees received extensive military training and political indoctrination. Most infiltrators were ethnic Southerners until late 1963, and through 1961, a high proportion were members of the Laozong Party. The regroupees, most of them officers or senior non-commissioned officers, formed the nucleus of the original Viet Cong. In 1961, a military cadre raised the first two Viet Cong battalions near Ben Che in the Mekong Delta, contributing their officers. A high-ranking military and political cadre, led by Major General Chen Van Quang, was also dispatched to the south. Chen Van Quang was a member of the Central Committee and Deputy Chief of the General Staff. Who created the Viet Cong? On December 20th, 1960, officials from the party chapter for South Vietnam met in Cambodia. The meeting established the National Liberation Front, a device intended to create an independent and ideologically neutral face for the campaign against the anti-communist Xiem government. The People's Liberation Armed Forces, the official name of the Viet Cong, was established in early 1961. The PLAF was the military wing of the NLF. However, the terms PLAF and PAVN had no real difference. All communist forces in South Vietnam were regarded as an extension of the PAVN and were controlled by Hanoi. A private general military party committee communication in January 1961 stated that the Liberation Army of South Vietnam is part of the People's Army of Vietnam. What was Cosfin? Cosfin was formed in 1951 during the First Indochina War and was reactivated in October 1961. A roving leadership group composed of members of the Central Committee, Cosfin received political instruction from the Politburo in Hanoi. Cosfin then passed instructions on to a senior People's Revolutionary Party organisational group within the Liberation Army headquarters. In November 1961, Cosfin repeated the instruction from Hanoi to rename the party chapter for South Vietnam. Cosfin clarified that although the name had changed to the People's Revolutionary Party, it would continue to be subordinate to the Central Committee. General Chan Van Cha led Cosfin as commander of the South Vietnamese Liberation Army from 1964 to 1967 and commanded the B-2 Front, the military command for the southern half of South Vietnam. General Nguyen Chi Tsang was responsible overall for war in the South as Cosfin party secretary and political commissar until his death in 1967. PAVN and VC in southern South Vietnam were controlled by Cosfin, while units in the North were directed operationally by Hanoi. How was the PLAF organised? The PLAF was patterned after the Chinese Revolutionary Armed Forces and was composed of three elements, guerrillas or militia, provincial local force and main force. Village guerrillas or militia detachments were part-time and poorly trained, while local and main force were full-time and better trained, with main force units receiving the best training. Main force VC were also more likely to be party members. Guerrillas were based on a village or hamlet and usually comprised those too old or too young to join local or main force units. Organised as three man cells, they lived, ate and fought together. Three cells formed a squad, three squads a platoon, and three platoons and a weapons platoon formed a company. Much of their time, besides engaging in asymmetrical insurgency warfare, was spent gathering intelligence for local and main force VC units and providing logistical support. 
Each province was expected to provide at least one local force battalion for operations within that province. Although often thought of as operating only at the company level, local force also fielded battalion-sized formations. Local force units were controlled at the district and province levels. Main force units were subordinate to military regions or fronts, and were organised on the conventional battalion, regiment, division pattern. In general, a Viet Cong division had an operating strength of 7,350 men, a regiment 1,750, and a battalion 350. An average main force regiment had between two and four infantry battalions and a heavy weapons battalion. Battalions were usually composed of three infantry companies and a heavy weapons company, though some battalions had a fourth infantry company. Most main force units were characterised by party membership, advanced military training and high esprit de corps. Intended to complement the PAVN main force fist, PLAF main force units reflected the force structure and firepower required to partner with the PAVN to defeat the Arvan. 